Good evening, I'm Navya Singh and I'll take you through the news that deserve your attention today. Let's get started. Twitter has taken down two tweets by Bollywood actor Kangana Ranaut over violation of its rules. The action by Twitter comes a day after Kangana was seen raging about international star Rihanna's support on the ongoing farmers' protest. The actress also made headlines after she called singer and actor Diljit Dosanjh a Khalistani and referred to the farmers as terrorists. This led to several people and netizens reporting Kangana's account asking for it to be banned. The epicenters of farmers' protests have now turned into fortresses with the Delhi police installing a four to five feet wide concrete wall across the Delhi Chandigarh National Highway. Now behind these massive walls are five layers of barricades cutting access to nearly two dozen mobile toilet vans and water supply. The heavy security deployment and barricading have cut off the protesting farmers from the national capital and stripped them of some basic facilities that were available to them earlier. These barriers have affected access to basic facilities and amenities for farmers who are finding it difficult to wash clothes or even perform daily activities without the availability of water. As the police have cut access to toilets, many have started defecating in the open. Women protesters are forced to walk kilometers to find a safe place or have to go to nearby fields. In another major news, journalist Mandeep Punya, who was arrested by the Delhi police last week at Singhu border, said that he did not stop working even when he was in Tihar jail. The freelance journalist was released by a local court on 2nd of February on bail, which was on Tuesday. Punya said that he had spoken to farmers in the jail and would soon write a long-form report on it. The journalist said that since he did not have a paper to write on, he scribbled notes on his legs. Recently, Pune also took to Twitter, saying that he should not have been arrested. The opposition had also slammed the central government for arresting Punia. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi had said that those who fear the truth arrest true journalists. India slipped two places to the 53rd position in the 2020 Democracy Index Global Ranking, according to the Economist Intelligence Unit, which attributed the decline in the ratings to democratic backsliding by authorities and crackdown on civil liberties. The Democracy Index gives an insight into the current state of democracy worldwide for 167 countries. Focusing on India, the report alleged that the Modi government has introduced a religious element to the conceptualization of Indian citizenship, a step that many critics see as undermining the secular basis of the Indian state. Over 11,000 complaints of human rights violations have been registered against police officials in the financial year 2020-21, with at least 5,300 such cases being reported from Uttar Pradesh alone. This is according to data from the Union Home Ministry. In the last three years, the National Human Rights Commission has recommended monetary relief of over rupees 20 crores in nearly 800 cases of police brutality, disciplinary action in 48 cases and prosecution in one case. That's all for today and I'll be back with some more important news tomorrow. Thanks for watching.